So this is a Yamaha XSR 900. Yeah, basically it's the MT-09, except, well, it's a bit more classic looking and nice. I'm just taking that for a test ride. And review. It's got a little Tom Tom sat nav holder thing there, but we'll just ignore that for now. My CR5, bruh. I remember the days. So it's got the same ignition system as the MT-07 does. However, this one's got power modes. It's got traction control. It's got the work. So I'm really looking forward to getting out on this. So let's go. Let's get out on the road, shall we? Wow, Christ alive. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right, that was not expected. <laughs> Jesus wept. Right, okay. <laughs> that just put a massive smile on my face. Like, unbelievably massive smile on my face. I've got to sort the mirrors out and put some petrol in it. Oh my God, my heart's going 10 to a... I don't know, a lot of the phrases, 10 to a dozen or 10 to a minute. Or, it's going really fast. <laughs> <laughs> that is mental oriental my friends oh. Christ alive that wheelies so easy oh. <laughs> okay okay calm down calm down suspect come on you can do this where is the petrol station <laughs> Christ, um, I don't know where to start, I don't, there's just so much power, bloody hell, right, where, where do I start, where do I start, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and start with engine, I know, oh, well, after I've filled up with petrol anyway, I'm going to start with engine, so I will, oh, is that petrol station, no, I like the dash on it though. Um, oh Christ! You're so high up on it though. That's the Jesus. <sighs> okay, I'm getting way too over. I'm gonna have to turn around because I don't know where I'm going that way. The indicator switch thing's a little bit naff. Ugh. Go before this big lorry thing gets here. This is a whole new level of yobbishness. Like I'm I'm actually a little bit scared to twist my wrist. Like I've not even gone half throttle yet in any gear. I'm literally just about touching on it. This thing has so much power man. So much power and torque as well. Oh and those brakes are nice. Okay, basically, what this ride is going to be, is going to be me sat on a bike going, Oh my god, oh look at that, oh this is so fun, oh my god, the brakes are good, and blah 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 blah. It's probably not going to be too informative, but I'm going to try my best. Anyway, oh man. So, like I said, what we have here is a Yamaha MT-09, effectively, in a bit more of a classic looking shell, uh, and they called it the XSR. Well, nine, XSR 900. Yeah, it's a triple. So the MT-09 was... Uh, sorry, the MT-09. The MT-07 is a twin. This is a triple. And the MT-10, or the XSR 1000 if they do one, or whatever they want to call it, is a... Um, is an inline four that has the cross crank um got the cross plane crank that the old r1s had so this one's the triple it's really kind of upright this feels like it'll be good around town so far i'm gonna give it a bit more a bit more of a ride and let you know but as for now that's what i'm noticing hell this is something else right it's a 900 cc triple it's got so much torque so much power like it's I'm, I'm constantly like whoa so far anyway um, things about the bike so the brakes on it are two pot well four pot sorry because two on each side anyway the brakes have uh, four pistons in them 
they are really nice stopping. I think they're Nissins, but I'm not 100%. I'm gonna go with Nissin. They're the silver spot calipers, basically, that you'd get. So far, I've, I've harshly broken twice just to check them out, and they feel really good. Really, really nice. Really smooth, really progressive, really good. I'm loving them. Gear changing. I'm just gonna touch on that because I can. Changing gear. The gearbox is actually not as smooth as I thought it would be, but it's you've, it, you can you know you've changed gear when you change gear. With a lot of bikes, it's so smooth, it's just like bleh, bleh, change gear, oh yes, oh yes. Whereas with this, it's like you know you've changed gear, you get a definitive clunk, and it's not a nasty clunk. It's quite a nice clunk. One thing I have noticed is the sweet spot. I've said it in a couple of my videos now about the sweet spot on a bike, and the sweet spot's the part, the point where you can just hold the throttle at and not change speed kind of thing. Like a trundling speed, just a ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum speed. Oh, there's a, there's a petrol station up there, isn't there? Yes. Give you a quick look at it. A look at this beauty, shall we? So there she is. Yamaha XSR 900. So those are the brakes. All along here you've got various different bits of it. It's got a nice big rear disc. The one thing I don't like about it so far is that rear tail light. I think that looks ridiculous. They should have integrated it somehow else, because that's not good. Anyway, I'm gonna... Where the hell does the key go in? Huh? Oh, it's there. <laughs> I'm gonna put some gasoline in it. And then I'll be off again. Back in a sec. service at its best when the guy ignores you goes on his mobile and then <laughs> hops onto the store phone and starts talking let's go <laughs> yeah boy front wheel is way too happy to come up there's a lot of power on this bike and so far I'm kind of finding it a bit difficult to contain it engine so so far with the engine I'm feeling it has a lot of whatever the hell it is that you want if you want torque it's got it if you want you know, real kind of power, it's got it. It's really smooth and progressive as well. I know it, I mean, granted, it's a little bit, you know, whoa! You know, you twist your wrist the slightest amount and you are all of a sudden doing silly speed with your front wheel halfway up in the air and God knows what else, but it's actually a really nice bike to ride. As long as you can control your wrist a little bit, you're, you're going to be fine. So far, s handling wise, I mean, I, I tested the handling here the other uh, last time when I rode the MT-07 and the ER6F, which you didn't get to see. But this corner is a really good judge because it's nice and sweeping. And then this next one as well, if this guy wants to hurry up. But this bike so far, it feels so planted. You're nice and high up on the bike, and you've got a really good seating position, and it just feels really nice to ride. It's comfortable, it's, it's got nice wide bars, so you've got really good control over pretty much everything that's going on. It's got, you know, all of your different traction controls and your power settings, and, you know, it's, it's really kind of, it's proving itself so far to be... A really nice bike to ride. A really powerful bike to ride as well. In terms of the uh, the suspension, I think as it is, the suspension's a little bit hard. 
a little bit hard. I mean, I'm finding going over bumps, I'm finding it very more so than I would be on, say, my Jixxer or the MT-07 or other bikes. No, this, this has got a lot harder suspension in terms of that, but other than that, it's actually relatively comfortable. The seat on it, again, I feel like it's got the same kind of problem as you had with the uh, with the MT-07, but yeah. So the reason I'm out on this beauty today is because my friend has passed his bike test and he is getting himself an MT-07, which I'm really jealous of. Um, yeah, he's picking, well, he's not picking it up. He's just ordered it. Should have it by the weekend with a few bits on it. He's got the gel seat conversion, so that's good. And the full acrophobic system, which sounds immense. Um, but yeah, he's he's just ordered that, and I said, can I take out the the XSR? And they said, yeah, go for it. As long as you don't crash it. And I said, okay. So that's what's happening. But yeah, big thanks to TK Cope Motorcycles in Colchester for letting me out on it. They've, they've done my friend a really good deal on the MT-07, so I, I strongly suggest if you're in the Essex area and you're looking at getting an M uh, and, the, and you're looking at getting a uh, a Yamaha, definitely head down there, see what they can do for you because you know they knocked a fair whack off the price, which is nice, and all the accessories he got and stuff as well. So that's good. So I'm going to quickly run through the things that I like about the bike. Things that I like, obviously, the power the torque, you know, everything about the way the engine is working at the moment. I really like that. I really like the the fact that it's got the tech on it. It's got the traction control, it's got the ABS, it's got, you know, electronic everything, which is really good. It hasn't got electronic suspension, but as far as it goes, it's pretty good. Other things that I like, uh, I like the seating position on it. You're really high up, you're comfortable, you're sat in what seems to be more or less an armchair, but it's not like a Harley, thank God. Otherwise there'd be a dildo on this seat, wouldn't there? Okay, so I just switched the power mode to B. And there is a seriously noticeable difference. Like, really noticeable. I'm really liking it in B, actually. So, I was going to do the things I don't like section, and the things that I don't like, the first thing that I was going to mention was the snatchy throttle. I'll show you. So, in A... Right, so, I'm in A at the moment. Right. I open the throttle in second, and it does that, which is ridiculous. In B... I open up the throttle and it's a lot more sedate, it's a lot more easy to control, the, the throttle isn't quite so snatchy, it makes for a lot more comfortable ride, a more pleasurable kind of chilled out ride. A is full power mode, B is your wetter mode, which increases the, tr the traction control and all of these things. Yeah, um, so putting it in B increases all the traction control and that sort of thing, makes it a lot more easy to ride. Puts it in kind of an eco mode, you know, less less snatchy, less aggressive, that sort of thing. You've got standard mode, which is somewhere in between, which is kind of, it's kind of your normal riding mode. And then you've got A mode, Jesus Christ, which is a lot more powerful. And I'm loving it, but I have a feeling I'm going to keep it in B mode for now. Just so I can really kind of give you a feel of the bike, a feel of the way that it handles, the suspension, that sort of thing. You know, weaving it in and out on the roads feels really easy, it feels nice and controlled. The whole bike underneath you just feels planted and stable. And and even in B mode, it has plenty, plenty, and I mean plenty, like a lot plenty of power. You know, if you want to overtake a car, if you want to have a quick blast, you're good. You, you're sorted in B mode. A mode is just absolutely ridiculous. That is something that... That's just something else. Right, I'm going to do a test on the brakes in a minute. Check there's nothing behind me first. 60 down to nothing. Christ alive. Back to... <laughs> I can't get over it. Uh, back to things that I like. Um, I really like the wide bars on it. 
it's just it's some it's a really comfortable position to have your hands you know with my bike you're very much lent over and you're tucked in and whatever whereas this it's kind of it's a middle ground bike <sighs> yeah so so far I'm, I'm really liking this bike you know in comparison to the seven I think it's a lot more adult the seven's almost a bit yobbish this is definitely yobbish but it's got a more adult feel to it that's what i'm going with um oh god how do you adjust these bloody mirrors right so things i don't like right now there's a couple of things and it's purely because I don't know. I don't want to say OCD because I haven't got OCD, but it's little things like this, 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 um, the clocks, for example. <whistles> the clocks, for example, it's one circle and it's slightly offset to the right, and that really annoys me. The key assembly, if you can see that, it's slightly offset to the left. The petrol filler cap is slightly offset to the right. And it shouldn't annoy me, but it really does. Another thing that annoys me, this is a comfort aspect. So, well, I should have shown you when I was parked up back there, but basically, so actually I'll pull over here. Oh, Christ, those brakes, man. They allow you to do that, which is really nice. Is that stable? I don't know. Let's tuck in a little bit more. Just on here. Oh, that's not stable. That'll do. So, this groove here, now it's a good size, but this bit here, where it kind of goes back in, it needs to be here instead. I have long legs, and I can't imagine that anyone that gets on it, you know, these days everyone really is quite tall in comparison. And I feel this, this groove here needs to be slightly further back because it cuts right into my leg. And it's not uncomfortable because my legs stick out far enough as it is. But I feel if I wanted to really grip the tank and, you know, go around a nice tight corner or whatever, I feel it would be a little bit more useful to have it a little bit more offset. It's quite a cute place. Um, another thing that annoys me, like I said, is that is that rear tail light. I think it, it's, it looks ridiculous having it there. I don't know. But other than that, everything on this bike so far, I'm really impressed with. Obviously, I can't test the headlight. The mirrors, that's another thing I don't like. They're awkward to adjust and they're really awkward to see out of as well, even when they're adjusted, because of the way that they are. They're quite small. Um, and I don't know, they're set back inside this, this black rim thing. They're quite set back, so it just looks a bit weird. I don't, I don't know. I don't like it. But other than that... Other than those few little bits, I can't really fault the bike. I like the seating position a lot. I love the power of it. And even with the stock exhaust on it, I like the sound of it as well. You probably can't really hear it and it will probably sound really bad through the mic, but it sounds really good. And with a non-stock exhaust on it, with an aftermarket exhaust, ooh, with an aftermarket exhaust on it, I think it would just sound the dog's nadgers. It would sound amazing. Um, yeah, it's really stable, really planted. I keep saying the same things. But it's just, so far, it's just a phenomenal bike to ride. It's comfortable. You know, you feel you feel like you've got all the confidence in the world on this because you go around the corner and it's just it's just there. Everything you need is there, especially in B mode. I think going around the corner in A mode, you feel a bit more, whoa, like you accidentally touch that throttle in a corner and you know you've done it. Whereas with this, it's a lot more forgiving. Look, I can open full throttle and nothing happens really as much anyway. Whereas in A, oh Christ, it's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot different. So that's, that's the, there's a real difference in these power modes go around a nice corner yeah oh man this is so nice if you've seen my GSX-R1000 review imagine how I felt with that now completely discard it absolutely completely discard it and this bike completely outdoes it in every single way it feels like it's got so much more power so much more oomph so much more comfort more you know stability in the corners slow speeds it's really nice as well it 
just if, so far this bike completely outdoes that Jigs 1000 just everything about it except for maybe I don't know something like the the sound or Actually, I think the Jigs 1000 seat was a bit more comfortable. This feels like you're sat on a slab of stone. Same as the MT-07, to be fair. I don't know what they're using for their seats now, but it's not, not really very good. Another thing that I don't like, but you can adjust, is there's so much play in that throttle before anything comes on. You know, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But then everything. <laughs> it shows up when the traction control has to come on. <laughs> I like that. This bike, I'm riding it along at slow speed, and because there's no fairing and there's no massive dash and there's nothing in the way, you can really take in everything around you. You know, it's a lovely day today. I'm just trudling along, just taking it all in, absorbing the nice sunshine through my tinted visor. And it's such, a, it's such an enjoyable bike to ride. It's comfortable, it's smooth. It's one of those bikes that I can really get behind. I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far, and everything about it is just, it's put a smile on my face. Everything's put a smile on my face. And for a naked bike, it, you know, I, I've ridden a couple of naked bikes now, like big naked bikes. Uh, I've ridden the 7, the MT-07, and I really like that. I, I've ri I'm, obviously, I'm riding this at the moment, and I'm really enjoying it. But... You know, I, I like having a fairing there just because it it protects me from the wind. I mean, you'll probably have heard a lot more wind noise in this than you will have done in my other videos. And um, that's one of the things I would have to get used to is all the wind noise and the and the wind bl blowing me back or whatever. But to be honest, for a, if you're kind of if you're just looking for a bike that you can toodle around town on and you know maybe go for a quick blast around the countryside or whatever take in some scenery this bike is the bike for you and to be honest i know it's going to sound really condescending but if you're, if you're a slightly older gen or lady and you want something that's you know not going to hurt your wrists not going to hurt your back not going to hurt your your legs or your knees or your ankles or anything like that you want something that in b mode you know this is this isn't you know aggressive at all it's very sedate this bike is you know as far as i'm concerned the bike for you it looks good it looks quite, quite classic i really like the stitching on the seat and that sort of thing it just looks good it feels good it rides really well and that's all you need to know so to be honest this review has been a bit of a nothingy review. It's basically me sat on a bike going, wow, ooh, ah, this is nice. Um, if you want to know anything, or if you want to know any of my opinions on it, ask away in the comments. Go ahead, I'll, I'll answer them, you know. But at the moment, I'm just going to say, you know, bollocks to a review. It, it doesn't need a review. All, all you need to say is, if you like the look of it, go for it. If you can afford it, go for it, because you won't be disappointed. Anyway, I'm gonna now go for a quick blast around Colchester a little bit, I think, um, before I have to take it back in 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Uh, so guys, if you like what you see, if you enjoyed the review, if you want me to do more of this kind of thing, give me a thumbs up, give me some feedback, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you felt about it. Because ultimately, that's what makes me do these things. So, like I say, this has been the Yamaha XSR 900. I'm the usual suspect. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, have a good one. Just a side note. When I first sat on that GSXR 1000, and I said about having the tingly feeling of knowing it's a thousand, you know, it's my litre virginity that I'm losing, it's, you know, all of these things. I, and when I sat on that just 1000 I didn't really feel, you know, as I thought I'd feel. I felt underwhelmed to say that, you know, to, to be quite frank. With this, I wasn't expecting what I've found from it. And so far, you know, after this entire ride, I've, I felt more of that tingly feeling. Like, as soon as I set off on it, I mean, you heard my reaction. It was something that I felt... I would have wanted to have felt when I sat on that GSX-R1000. That's the feeling that I should have got. 
and this being a 900 triple it's ticking all of the boxes so yeah if, if you want to lose your lead of virginity get a 900cc 